Hello and welcome to Common Sense Frugal Living or you might as well call this the Cheapskate Channel or the Cheapskate Show. Whatever you want to call it, I'll show you how to have a better quality of life without spending all your money unnecessarily. And sometimes we'll talk to you about how to make a little bit of money too. All too often people talk about how to spend money and how to invest money but very few people very few people talk about how to make money well in this sh little talk I'm going to talk to you about how to make a little bit of money now it won't be anything really really earth-shattering like you won't be able to retire on it but it's something to consider to help make ends meet and this will work very well for college students also because actually you're in the right place where you have access to the thing that would make you more money. And of course this utilizes another smartphone app. Once again from the ever popular Google Play Store. It's an Android app. But I think they have similar apps out there where you can utilize uh, the functionality for it also but this one in particular I like it because it it um, has a number of different places where you can make money from and it commingles all the information and gives you a report about how many places will pay you for what you need to do but that's getting ahead of everything what I'm going to show you how to do or tell you how to do is to go sell books for cash now a lot of folks do that on Amazon with the Amazon bookseller thing. This will work for that also. But sometimes Amazon is not your cup of tea. Or some of you all might have messed up your Amazon account and they threw you out. Who knows? But this has a number of other booksellers, uh, booksellers that cater to college students and other esoteric type of bookstores. And they purchase books. And here is an app that you can use to what's called scouting books and yes that is something that people do if you've ever frequented these book fairs and bookstores you'll see people around with these big buggies full of books where they just go through and toss a book in a buggy and buy these huge amounts of books these people are selling books they even have a bookstore or they're selling it online through one of the different venues out there um, there's a number of ways you can do this and uh, even the more sophisticated book scouts have these little, uh, well, they used to call them personal data assistance PDAs with a little electronic scanner on it. These things were enormously expensive, but they allowed them to scan the UPC code, the barcodes on the book, and it would come back with a price. If you've ever been to a book fair, uh, for those of you all who are into reading, if you've ever been to a book fair and you go, look, you hear something going beep. That's a, that's a person out there who's checking the prices of the book and of course they set a certain criteria for the book and if it meets that criteria it's a keeper if it doesn't they toss it back well now there's an app out there where you don't have to pay a monthly fee for the service to research the books nor do you have to pay a monthly fee for that expensive barcode scanner and the PDA program yes technology has progressed to the point things are getting cheaper and cheaper until they finally got to my price free and this app will help you make a lot of money now in order to make this work you're gonna have to go around to thrift stores book fairs yard sales colleges um, one word about colleges too before I get off of that point uh, at the end of the quarter or the semester or whatever it is going on at, the, at your local college or university or technical school or as they like to call themselves technical colleges these days lots of professors will put out the old books that they aren't using anymore normally in the student lounge or along the way for students to take for research or reading copies these books have a value uh, they can be resold 
because lots of people buy used copies. Normally when, when they make new editions of textbooks, there's very little difference between one edition to the other. They might add something, change the name of a chapter, put some more pictures in, change the color of the cop, uh, cover, uh, anything to get the school to buy. Because textbooks, if you've been to college or you've been to private school and you have to buy your kids books or anything, if you've had to buy books of any nature, books are expensive. And trust me, going to college, books were 100, 150, 200, depending on what was going on. Highly technical books are astronomical. And you normally get the book in the class and <laughs> you read a chapter out, or out of it or a paragraph of a chapter out of it. And you spend a 100 bucks for what? Nothing. And you have the instructor going, well, you can put this in your library. Hell, I just paid a 100 bucks for this book. I'm just trying to pass the class to get out of here. Why would I want to even keep the book? You know, you know, college students think like this. Well, if you're in college now, here's a chance to recoup it. Don't go to the bookstore and let them buy back the books. They ain't giving you diddly squat for it. Sell your books online and get the most for it. There are a number of different vendors that participate in this app. And you can get a listing. Some of them, have, and it goes from high to low to some who don't want to give anything for the book. Of course, you don't want to go to those. And you don't have to worry about postage sending it to the book. Once you sign up with a different particular vendor that wants to buy your book, they will, uh, you have to go to the library or your home if you have a printer. They will print you out a prepaid shipping label, which you will tape to the box and take it to the post office or Federal Express or UPS or whatever, uh, in the, whatever carrier they select. And they will be, it will be sent to them without any cost to you. And they will pay you by PayPal, by check, by, by, by money order, or any, any way to get you their money. A lot of them do pay by PayPal. And a lot of them will send you a check. It's, it's your choice in it. But the fact is they will pay you. You can have a nice little income going around the thrift stores, yard sales, uh, library sales, uh, anything like that and getting books there. And, uh, in fact, some places don't like people to use those little scanners to check the barcodes of books, but there are plenty of other book sales out there where they don't care, especially if you go to the thrift stores. They have lots of thrift stores around with humongous book collections. Just go in there and just go down the line. Yeah, you're going to probably make some beeping, but you're going to probably make a lot of money, too. It's very simple, and it's very easy to do. Now, the name of the book app to sell these books is called, surprisingly enough, Book Scouter. B-O-O-K-S-C-O-U-T-E-R. Book Scouter, spelled B-O-O-K-S-C-O-U-T-E-R. It's an Android app, and it's found... In the Google Play Store, it has a little uh, thumbnail that looks like a barcode with a slash through it. It's an excellent app. It's free of charge, and it works really well. Of course, you have to have a decent smartphone. I tried it once on a real piece of crap smartphone I had, and it was very slow in getting me the results. But I recently got another Android phone for cheap, cheap, cheap. It was on sale, uh, and it picks up just like that. I can just go to the land. Beep. Beep, beep, and I get the keepers, and I get the ones that aren't worth anything. Because you're going to run through a lot of books that aren't worth anything. You're going to run through a few that are a couple of bucks. But the ones you want to keep are the ones 17 20 30 40 50 60 70 100 dollars anything of that sort. You want to get that because you're going to box those babies up and send them, and they're going to send you a check. Yes, they are. Now, of course... They don't supply you with the box. Like a lot of places you go if you sell cell phones and stuff like that, they'll give you a little prepaid mailer or something. But I mean, go to the grocery store and get you a box. Go anywhere and get you a box. Go to the, uh, uh, if, if you have a place where, where, where they have boxes at stores or these convenience stations for the ecologically minded where they take their cardboard, their bottles and stuff like that. That's a bonanza for boxes for shipping. You don't need a big box. 
In fact, I have boxes right now that I am getting ready to ship off to the different people. I have them staged on the floor. One box for this seller, one box for that seller, one box for this seller, and all this kind of things. I'm trying to set myself up to be paid. You do too. You need to be too. If money's good for me, money's good for you. But anyway, I don't want to hold you too long. This is a great app to have. It's a great app, great app to have in your money-making arsenal so that you can have you a little bit of extra cash to pay bills, to buy toys with, to take your kids out, to take your old lady out, to take your old man out, to take your whatever it is you happen to want to take out. You know, do this and you'll be helping yourself. Let me help you help yourself. This is my function here. This is the reason why I'm sitting up here in the middle of the night telling you all these things because I've learned them through experimentation and through the school of hard knocks because everybody needs money and sometimes you have to come up with money quick fast and in a hurry anyway if you thought this information was helpful to you and you thought that it would be beneficial to the health of your pocketbook please like and share this video also, to make your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and all these other wonderful social media sites love you to death, go up to the top of this page and copy the web page location, or for you technically inclined, it's called the URL locator of the station, of these uh, of this page. It starts with HTTP, colon, double slash, and all the other stuff there. Highlight it, copy it, and paste it in the message section of the Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Tumblr, and all these things, and make a message saying, hey, this guy showed me how I can get money from my books. You can learn too. It's plenty for everyone. That'll bring them back here. That'll let me go ahead and tell them. Then everybody wins because I would have told them the information. You would know the information. You can start on this now. If you have a smartphone, get on there. Even if you have to use your data plan, the app is very small. Download Book Scatter. Go around your house. Try some of the books. Try it now. You might come up with a lot of zeros, but you might come up with some real treasures too. And if you come up with some real treasures, box that baby up and go get paid. Anyway, thanks for listening. I hope this was helpful. And stay tuned for more wonderful things on how to enhance your life and your pocketbook from the Cheapskate channel. See you next time.